So Sega have announced their next 10 games on their Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive Mini and I'm going to get into that in just a moment but before I do, I just want you to know my name is Elroy, this is my world and I want to thank you for joining me today so that I can arm you with some serious information. Now, let's get into this. The Mega Drive Mini has been announced, uh, well was announced several, several months ago and we've been getting updates through YouTubers and this has been no different uh, for the last couple of months about basically the next few games that have been released. And I'm just going to tell you this now, the latest 10 games, pretty epic, pretty crazy. Let's get into what those games are. We have Mega Man, The Wily Wars, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition, Sonic Spinball, Fantasy Star 4, Beyond Oasis, Ghouls and Ghosts, Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle, Golden Axe, Vector Man, Wonder Boy in Monster World. Those are the next 10 games that have been announced for the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive Mini. Now, I'm just going to go through the ones that I'm actually really, really crazy excited about for this system. And I'm going to start off with Ghouls and Ghosts. Now, the reason I'm excited for that is because we had Ghouls and Goblins on the NES Classic Edition. And then we had Super Ghouls and Goblins on the SNES Classic Edition. Now, anybody who's anybody knows that the only way to complete this uh, trilogy or these, these the, the Ghouls and something... Uh, series is to have it on the Mega Drive. Now, the fact that this is on there actually means that this is for anyone who got the NES and SNES Classic, this is more of a selling point if you want to complete that collection because you'll have all of them officially on a system that has been released by whatever company that it is released by. Anyways, that's not the point. The fact is that this game is incredibly hard um, but it's rewarding apparently. According to this, I've never played this one before but now that I can actually, when it releases, get all of these games and play all of them, I'm really excited for that. The next one that I'm actually excited for is Mega Man The Wily Wars. Now the reason I'm excited for that is because it is again another official release but this is the official release of 1, 2 and 3 and it's been reworked for the uh, Mega Drive Mini which is pretty crazy, pretty cool and to be honest with you makes me excited just to see what it's going to be like. I was never very good at the Mega Man series but throughout the years I've sort of been trying to get more and more into them and this this installment with the original games definitely definitely piques my interest now the next one is a game that i think was to be fair also on uh, the snes classic but had to be there street fighter 2 special champion edition now i know uh, street fighter 2 turbo was on the snes classic but this is essentially the same sort of thing but one of those games that is a staple that has to be on there. It's just, it, it has to be, it's the pinnacle, the pinnacle of fighting game. That is not Mortal Kombat, let's be honest, right? Street Fighter 2 just is the game, the must-have game on these systems. Now, the next game that I'm interested in, that I'm real keen to play, which is the final one that I'm really, because I don't really know the others too well, is Golden Axe. Now, Golden Axe obviously is one of those, um, one of those games that people have probably played over and over again when they were younger, probably don't really remember it, unless you're, you know, in that age, if you, if you had your all your siblings' systems or your cousin's system, that's what I played it on. And uh, Golden Axe is a pretty good game, pretty fun, and I would love to relive that experience. Now, that's only 30 games, guys. Just in case you're wondering, there is another 10 games to come out. We've already had some seriously incredible notifications for games like the Castlevania that they're going to release on this mini system, the Contra game they're going to release on this system. Uh, those are just two of the peaks for what I thought of. And then, to me, the one that stands out in this system, uh, in this release, is uh, the Mega Man The Wily Wars, which did not have, uh, for anyone in America, it did not have a release over there. So, this is one of those things that I think Sega is just doing this right. They, they've made the Mega Drive Mini, the this classic system, the correct way. They've chosen the right games. They've basically gone from that nerd in the corner that no one really wants to talk to, to the jock on the football team. That is how I see this right now. With these announcements, they've destroyed every bit of expectation, and we still have 10 more games to know. I'm just, I'm so excited about this. If you haven't put money down by pre-ordering this by now, it's coming out in September, so you don't have much time to go. Get out there, pre-order this, go and enjoy the Mega Drive Mini when it comes out. I'm telling you now, it's going to give you hours. If, if, if the NES Classic and the SNES Classic gave you hours of fun, then this is going to give you days. That's all I'm saying. Go out there, check it out.
That's me for now, guys. If you haven't already, my name is Elroy. This is my world. Please click that subscribe button. And if you enjoy my voice long enough, please click that notification bell. Uh, and then you'll see basically what, you know, whenever I release something or say something. If uh, you have a comment to make, please, down below is where to make those comments. And if you want to click that like button, then do that too. That'd be great. Anyways, for now, I'm going to see you in the next video. I hope that I was, happy, that I was able to arm you with some serious information. Um, until next time, guys. Bye.